and welcome to another art instruction video. I'm Ruth and I'm a professional artist. Today I wanted to show you a little bit of painting using watercolors on a special type of paper. If you hear my dog bark, that's my little dog B. I think the trash man is outside and so you might hear her joining in on this video. Anyway, this is a very special watercolor paper. It's called Yuppo or Yubo. I think it's Yubo, but you can get it at Dick Blick's Arting Goods online. It's not that expensive. It comes in packs, large packs. And I've just cut a little piece here for a demonstration today. What I like about this paper is very smooth. It obviously is made from plastic. There's a coarse side and then a very smooth side. You can paint on either side. And another thing I like about it is it's perfect for watercolors because you don't have to tape it down or staple it down. You don't have to pre-stretch it or pre-wet it. You can just start painting on it from the get-go and you get really nice <clears throat> smooth effects. And because you don't have to tape it or staple it down, it doesn't buckle at all. So it won't buckle on the sides here at all. You can see from the reflection of the light how shiny it is. It is definitely made from plastic. And I love it because you can do a whole lot of neat effects on it um, that are good for abstract. But you can also do realistic art on it as well. I'm going to be doing a time-lapse painting pretty soon on about a wolf. I'm going to be painting this wolf photograph on this Yepo paper. I'll be doing a time lapse soon. So you can see you can do a lot of neat effects. You can do washes or you can do splatter. Very nice effects. Also you can do <clears throat> effects that you can do on other regular watercolor paper. For instance with salt. For the wolf drawing that I'm going to be doing, <clears throat> I will need to use salt for the effect of snow so you can add some sprinkles of salt, just like you do with regular watercolor paper. And here's one that dried yesterday and you can see some of the really neat effects from the salt. What I also like about this paper is because you don't have to staple it down or tape it, you can pick it up and do some neat dripping effects like that for, again, some abstract looks that you might want to do. I've done this for with trees to form trees, a forest, for a more abstract looking rather than realistic forest. Another thing I like about it is, let's say you want to do some aspen trees, you can take a piece of uh, tissue or a piece of paper towel <clears throat> or even a cotton swab and you can just wipe out the uh, paint right off the paper. So you can, from there, do an aspen tree or whatever effects that you need to do just with the swipe of a paper towel. So if you ever get a chance to paint watercolor on this type of paper, Yuppo, Y-U-P-O, or Yuppo, Yuppo, I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's inexpensive, it's fun, it's a fun way to do watercolors to get an abstract look. But even if you're going to do realistic, which I'm going to do here for the wolf, I'm going to do abstract painting here for the background and then more realistic painting for the wolf and the fur. So let me show you what I've got so far. So I've pre-sketched the wolf here on the drawing board, on the uh, watercolor paper, yep, oh. I have my palette over here ready to go just with a few colors for now because later on I'm going to add some more, but just for this demonstration, I thought I'd show you a little bit how I'm going to do the background. <clears throat> so I'm going to have some black and blue to make a nice dark gray color for a wash. What's really neat about this paper, what's very convenient, is you can draw on it and still paint without having to really worry too much about your pencil because you can always go back over it 
with the paper towel and uh, get rid of the pencil marks or any mistakes that you made. So it's kind of convenient. You don't have to stress too much. You don't have to use the masking fluid at all because the paint will automatically stop where you need it to stop at the pencil. So it's very convenient. I've, I've been painting with this paper now for about seven years. I've done a, a lot of wolf paintings with it and I plan on doing some bird of prey paintings as well. So I'm just getting a wash down, just a very basic simple wash down first. Nice smooth strokes. And again what's fun is you can pick your paper up and just let it drip if you want more of that abstract look to it. You can do that. So it's going to be a nice balance between abstract and the realism that I'm going to be doing with the wolf. Very tight realism, the fur, the details in the fur and everything. So I kind of want to imply a forest back here, so maybe some strokes of the trees. That'll be blurred. So it'll just be uh, as though a photograph is blurring the background. And again, see how it's not buckling at all? It'll dry nice and flat, so I don't have to staple it down. I don't have to worry about taping it down or wetting it beforehand, which I usually have to do with regular watercolor paper. You have to soak it in the bathtub, so that way it won't buckle. But with this paper, no, you do not have to worry about that. So you might be wondering how it dries. Well, like I did the demonstration yesterday, this one is dry, or it can dry dark. You can go back and scrape it off. This paper is durable, very, very strong. So now I have my background wash. That's called a wash. So I'm going to add a little bit of salt for the snow effects that you will see after it dries tomorrow. I'll do a time-lapse painting tomorrow to show you how I do the wolf. But for now, this is the background. So I wanted a nice background, abstract background like you see here in the photograph here on the Yepo paper. Very quick, very easy. That's why I love it. I hope that you'll give it a try. Again, it's not that expensive. You can find it on Dick Blick Sporting Goods. I'm sorry, <laughs> Dick Blick Art Supply. I don't know why I keep saying Sporting Goods. But uh, you can find it easily on Dick Blick Art Supplies. A little bit more salt for the snow. It's fun. It's a fun way to paint. You can you know, use your fingers if you like. You can do a lot of fun things with it. So have fun with it, give it a shot, and I will see you next time for the time lapse of when I start painting the wolf.